Hello everyone, in this video we will be looking at frequency table averages. How to find the mean of a table. First you add the frequencies together. Then add a column next to the frequency and multiply the left hand column by the corresponding frequencies. Add the results together and frequency divided by total result is equal to mean. Example question. The table shows some information about the number of points scored in a game. Work out the mean number of points per game. So here's the table with the number of points and the frequency. First you add the frequencies together. So all the numbers in the second column, they all add together to get 50. And then afterwards, you have to multiply the points by the frequency what you have to do is that you have to draw another column next to frequency to put the results in say so 0 times 9 1 times 11 2 times 18 3 times 7 4 times 4 and 5 times 1 and then you add all the results together from the third column and you get 89 and then Remember that frequency divided by total result is equal to the mean. So you have to do 89 divided by 50 and that is 1.78. So the mean number of points per game is 1.78. Now we are going to look at an exam question. The table below gives information about the time taken for 30 people to run 3 kilometers. So here we have cost intervals. The first part is to find the cost interval that contains the median. What a cost interval is, is that it has a range of values between two of the numbers. So the letter T stands for time. So it's to show a range. So the first row shows any time that is between 5 minutes and 10 minutes including 10 minutes but not 5 minutes there are 3 3 of those people took between 5 to 10 minutes 9 people took between 10 to 15 minutes 11 people took 15 to 20 minutes and 6 people took between 20 to 30 minutes so the medium is the middle of the list so you have to divide 30 by 2 to find the median and then you add the frequencies together in steps until the class interval that has the median is identified. So 30 divided by 2 is 15. Then you have to do 3 plus 9 is 12. So it means that it can't be in the second class interval or in the first class interval, obviously. And then you have to do 12 plus 11, that's equal to 23. 15 is smaller than 23 but greater than 12 which means that we have found the class interval and the median class interval is between 15 to 20 minutes and in the second part of the exam question we have to work out an estimate for the mean time taken so since we have the table, when you have class intervals, you have to use the midpoint to multiply with the frequency. So let's say that the class interval for the first three, when you have a class interval that has a difference of five, you have to divide it by two to get 2.5. And then for the last row where the class interval has a range of 10, you divide it by 2 to get to 5 because those numbers is what you will use to multiply with the frequency. So you multiply them so you get your results. So 7.5 times by 3, 12.5 times by 9. 17.5 times by 11 and 25 times by 6. 7.5, 12.5, 17.5 and 25. They are all they are all the midpoints of the class intervals. 
and you add the results together and you get 477.5 and remember that frequency divided by total result is equal to the mean so 477.5 divided by 30 is equal to 15.917 so the mean time taken to run three kilometers is 15.917 minutes i hope you found this video useful please click on the subscribe and bell buttons for more content from this channel and please feel free to share thank you for watching